So initially I did have a phobia of spiders. Um, I watched quite a few YouTube videos, YouTubers such as Tom Moran, Garries off Arachnitube, Mark's Tarantulas, Tarantula Cat and Alan Higgin, Spider-Man. Very, very good. Um, learning about them, husbandry and care, different species. Um, I decided to get my first tarantula just over a year ago, which was Lassiodora parahybana, it's the same species as this girl here. I do find them really interesting. Um, in a way, it's, it has cured my arachnophobia because I'm just so used to them being about now. And obviously, they're here by the bed in their little tanks. Um, so yeah, fascinating animals, and I would urge anyone just to give them a chance. Very misunderstood creatures. Generally, tarantulas are divided into old world and new world. So old world is like the east, new world, the west. Um, the new world species, this girl is one of them. They have what's called urticate and setae on the abdomen. And what they do in self-defence, they'll flick the hair, which can like, cause a lot of itching. They can bite, um, but their bite would be no worse than a bee sting, really. Handling can be quite dangerous if all you keep around the spider. If you were to drop them from a height, that could kill them. They're actually quite delicate animals. And obviously, there's a risk you could be head or potentially bitten, so I wouldn't recommend it. They're more animals just to sit and appreciate. I do name my tarantulas. I've got an app with everything on it, like when they were last fed, molted, everything. Um, my big girl, my T Sturmy, is called Tank, just because she's huge. Um, one of the first spiders I got is called Dusty, who's up there being a pet rock. Um, I don't know if I generally call them by name, obviously, I don't recognise you or anything like that. But I think it's nice to give them names because they are my pets at the end of the day.